Welcome, yeah, to, should I call this sports talk? For viewers that don't like basketball, I guess you can turn this off, but we getting ready to talk about something that uh, I didn't think was gonna happen. I thought it was just talk there for the last few months, even close to a year. But this morning, I woke up and found out that the Los Angeles Lakers, my team, signed LeBron James. Yep, right there it is. The Los Angeles Lakers, one of my favorite shirts. Used to have a jersey of uh, Kobe. Uh, I liked the uh, Lakers since 1984, way back when Magic Johnson, Michael Cooper, Byron Scott, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, A.C. Green, James Worthy, all that good stuff in the 80s. That was the best time, I think, ever. Until a point, to Kobe came around. But, um... Kobe won five championships, too. Uh, I think Kobe could have won uh, two or three other ones if Shaq would have stayed around. But that's different. Kobe retired about three years ago. And um, I haven't watched the Laker game since. I've got his last game burnt on DVD. And uh, I watched it at the anniversary after one year and two years. And I think I actually missed it this past year. Uh, April the 13th. Three years since he left. And there's been talk about LeBron James coming to L.A. And I don't know about it. You know, when uh, LeBron was uh, first time in Cleveland, he left and went to Miami. And um, I wasn't real key on that. I was like, you know, I grew up in the era of Jordan, Bird, and Magic, you know. And all of them stayed with their teams during, you know, career. Except for Jordan, finally, when he retired the last time and came back. But we won't count that. But uh, Larry and Magic, you know, they stuck around for many years with the Celtics and the uh, Lakers and had very great battles and stuff. But, uh, so I grew up in that area. And then when LeBron left and went to Miami, I, I thought he sold out. And, uh, you know, then he came back to Cleveland and rejoiced and tried to win a championship, which he did. And, uh, and then for some reason they just couldn't get over the hump the last few years against the Golden State Warriors. When I was a kid, Golden State Warriors was horrible. But uh, now they're really good. So LeBron, they talked about him maybe going to the Lakers, maybe going to Houston, uh, maybe the 76ers, all kinds of different teams. And I really didn't think the Lakers would sign him. But they signed him for a four-year deal for $153 million. For four freaking years, people. You don't need that damn much money. But I tell you what, a lot of people says that LeBron is the best of all time he beats jordan hands down and all that i still have yeah i still don't i don't, I don't get that I, I, you know Le, lebron's went to probably like eight championships yeah he's went to more championships he hasn't won but three of them i think so jordan went to six and won six uh even kobe won five i mean you know could have won he went to seven lost you know twice to detroit and celtics but then Came back and beat the Celtics a few years later. But that's, you know. So, Cubby could have won seven. He could have won more than Jordan. But if he did win seven, I wouldn't have probably considered Kobe the best. I think Kobe is right up there next to Jordan. He's the next best thing to Jordan. Even though I couldn't stand Jordan in the 90s, uh, you, you, can't, you can't go against him. I mean, he is probably the greatest ever. I think he's the greatest ever. Even though I'm a Laker fan and I love Kobe Bryant. But uh, since Kobe's retired, I haven't really watched a whole lot of uh, basketball. I've, I've heard this and that about Ball playing there and stuff, and his daddy making a damn fool of himself. And I'm like, God, I'm ashamed to be a Laker fan, you know? And they haven't really done that good. And even the last two or three years that Kobe played there, they didn't do that good. So if, if LeBron comes to town and takes him straight to the championship within one year, like he did when he came back to Cleveland, and they just basically called him God there in Cleveland because, you know, that is pretty damn good to come back to a team after winning a championship somewhere else, and the first year you come back, you take your team to the championship. Uh, so if he can do that, I might put him pretty close to Jordan then because uh, Lakers really need some damn help. The last few years, even dating back the last two or three years when Kobe was there and the people were injured and just... Just couldn't get nobody. Everybody was leaving, and Kobe stuck around and finished up his 20 years, and that was it for Kobe. So, so now it's LeBron's team, and will he live live up to like you know Jerry West, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, all them greats, you know Shaq and uh, Kobe. I don't know. 
You know, he's only got a few more years left in him probably. I think he's already been playing 15, 15 years, 16 years. But he didn't go to college, so just like Kobe, he could probably play a full 20. So I don't know if he's going to give him four years and he's going to get out of town, if he can rack off two or three championships. But the problem is, LeBron, even though you're going to L.A., you've got to beat the Golden State Warriors to get to the damn championship. And they've, they've kicked butt here in the last few years. And uh, it's going to be pretty damn hard. So, uh, But anyway, you know, he is in L.A. now. Can't do much, much about it. And just uh, see where it goes. Is he going to wear 23? I don't know. They keep showing pictures of him with 23 if he's going to change his number. There ain't too many numbers you can get in L.A. There's a lot of retired jerseys there, uh, LeBron. So you try to get yours retired. I don't know where the hell they would retire your jersey at now because... You left Cleveland and they're probably hating you. But I don't think they hate you as bad as the first time you left. And the way you left. That pissed a lot of people off. But I don't really think they give a damn. Now, I think everybody knew that you were leaving this time for sure. For sure, And you're a Laker. I didn't think it was going to happen. One time, this is a little known fact. When Phil Jackson came back to where he came into town to L.A., he tried to get Jordan to come out of retirement and go to L.A., and he didn't. Imagine that. Kobe, Shaq, and Jordan. They could have won five or six championships probably in a row. That's a little known fact. I did hear that at one time. Uh, Jordan wearing the 23 back then. That would have been different. But he decided to go to the damn Washington Wizards and make a fool out of himself. But that's the besides the point, Jordan. He did good in Chicago, and that's all you need to know. Um, but being a Laker fan, I woke up this morning and seen that on my Facebook and I was kind of, I didn't think it was going to happen. I really didn't, but it did and it is what it is. So, uh, LeBron's, I might have to watch a game or two now. I don't know. Uh, I, I really don't care much for him for certain reasons and stuff over the last few years, but, um, I don't know. Here ball is hurt and everything. I don't know if he'll be playing a whole lot. And uh, they're going to have to get some people around him. They're going to have to get some people around him. So now the question is, Cleveland's down and out again. Cleveland's going to go back to winning probably 15, 16 games a year. Will the Boston Celtics, my rivals, will they make it? They finally get through and kick butt in the East and make it. They probably will. Either them or the 76ers, one of them teams. Uh, uh, Monkey 5950 out there. Oh, yeah, Boston Celtics fan. Been friends many moons, but we've been enemies in basketball. Even college basketball, North Carolina, I like. He likes Duke. But anyway, we're not going to go through all that, Greg. I know you're watching, and I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Talk about that. Your Boston Celtics might finally make it, and then say LeBron takes L.A. We could have another rematch, Greg. We've had many moons, many moons. We've had many matches, and I've won most of them. You know that. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Get LeBron on the team to probably start losing. We'll get to the championship and lose like he has been the last few years. I don't know. I'm rambling. But Kobe is always the greatest to me. He's I miss him. 24, there'll, be a, there'll never be another 24 like him. So now we got to deal with 23 or if he decides to wear a different number. But I don't know. 23. All right. Till next time.